be a registered voter? Uh, it's the final push to get at least 85,000 valid signatures across Nebraska all to place the issue of Medicaid expansion in the hands of voters. We're feeling great about it um, and we're excited to see it on the ballot in November. Petition organizers say they'll turn in the signatures to the Secretary of State's office Thursday morning. In the end, they hope to provide Medicaid coverage for an estimated 90,000 adults who work but still can't afford health care. Lincoln resident John Kerrigan signed the petition. Say the number one cause of uh, debt and uh, uh, bankruptcy in this country is medical debt and I, I don't think that's something that uh, I'd like to see uh, people suffer from. Governor Pete Ricketts opposed expansion when it came before lawmakers, and so have a number of taxpayer groups. It would put a hole in the state budget, it would cause a terrible deficit, and taxpayers would have to make up the load. Doug Kagan of Nebraska Taxpayers for Freedom says there's no guarantee federal funding will continue, and Nebraska taxpayers will end up picking up the bill. Our taxpayer group will mount a very vigorous campaign against it. I think it's unfortunate that there's any group that wants to fight affordable health care for working families in Nebraska. Senator Adam Moorfield says the only thing that's breaking the bank is that many families don't have health care. Because we're paying for it in our prisons, we're paying for it in our hospitals, and we're paying for it in our personal pocketbooks. As the final signatures are penned, the debate is just likely heating up. Thank you so much. Enjoy your day. In Lincoln, Andrew Ozaki, KETV News Watch 7.